When performing driving maneuvers such as the alley docking or the parallel parking, it is important to keep your car slow while entering the parking, this will make the parking much more easier. This technique is called slipping the clutch and is required to perform the driving maneuvers on lessons and the driving test, essentially what you are trying to achieve is to keep the car moving but at the slowest possible speed. Slipping the clutch is referred to when the clutch is lowered and raised in the bite point area to keep the car moving slowly. This technique allows a driver to control the vehicle's movement while entering the parking, and gives the driver the efficient time to react if the vehicle moves the wrong way. When you release the clutch too fast when doing the parking, you will likely turn too late, and in many cases when this happens the students panic and stalls the engine. Or worst case scenario is to lose control. Before you start with the parkings first you have to learn the clutch control, and how to keep the car moving slow, when starting, you first have to find the car's bite point, when the clutch plates just start to meet, this is called the clutch bite point, the clutch bite point can occur at any point during the clutch's working travel as you lift it, as all clutches are different. The bite point however will always be in the same place for that particular clutch. Now that we have found the bite point, the car is slowly starting to move forward, now fully depress the clutch and gently brake to a stop. Keep repeating the process by giving the engine a little power and very slowly lifting the clutch till the car starts to move and fully depressing the clutch. By repeating this, you will gain an understanding where the bite point occurs. Once you have got the hang of that, try it again but instead of fully depressing the clutch once the car starts to move, press the clutch just a small amount, try and think the thickness of a 2 rand coin. By doing this you are slightly releasing the clutch plates, disengaging the wheels and letting the car slow down. As soon as the car has slowed slightly, lift the clutch around the thickness of a 2 rand coin again to move the car again. Essentially what you are trying to achieve is to keep the car moving but at the slowest possible speed. To make it more clear, think of a rugby scrum, the one team pushing the other team, meaning that the two teams don't want the ball to go to either sides. Now the same with the clutch, the clutch is the one team and your foot the other team, when you are not holding your foot steady on the clutch, the clutch lever will move. And your car will go fast, when you soften up your foot on the clutch, the clutch will go up, that is why you should keep your foot on the bite point and release a bit for the movement to start, the key here is with plenty of practice, and to remember where the bite point is. Try to control the speed of the vehicle with slight adjustments to the clutch, depress it by a centimeter or so to slow down and release it a similar amount to speed up. When making very small adjustments like this, it's helpful to imagine something very delicate, such as an egg, underneath the pedals. Apply very gentle pressure and try not to crack your imaginary egg, hope this will help you, and thank you for watching.